if you look over there, just above the tree line, I'm not talking about my trees, but just you can see them under the edge of my trees, you can see blue sky. Now the sky is pretty cloudy. Well, got some blue sky breaking out. It's just beautiful, that little ridge of blue clouds peeking through the trees over there. Now, the sun's gonna come out, it's gonna be great. So let's talk about this here. Uh, we start with talking about this one. Y'all were watching the video of me the other day going over and getting the tin boat and this boat out of that lake over there, that little pond. And one of the things that occurred to me, I could, well, two things that occurred I could really use on this boat. One would be like a, a handle. Like when I go to, when I'm sitting in this and I come up to the shore, I usually want to try to move up that way to get out instead of just throwing my leg over it to put my leg right in the mud. And I was thinking, boy, it would be nice if I just had a rope even, just a rope. If I had a rope that was tied off up here that ran down here and I could just grab that rope and sort of help get myself up that would be so much better and uh, I ought to be able to I don't want to pull that little cleat out of the front there but I ought to be able to find something that I could use for that maybe something like this maybe take that strap hmm now that little rope there is pretty small that would go through that cleat I could take a little piece of that I had a little piece of that. Hmm. Let's go see what we can do here. Yeah, see, I got this little thing right here. Right. This rope. That's pretty. That's pretty easy to get a hold of right there. Not as tiny. You know, sometimes if you try pulling on a little tiny rope, it can hurt your hands. I almost think I sound like a wimp talking about this. I'm not my hands, but my hands ain't that great in my old age. They're not what they used to be. But see, I could take this and stick it right through. Y'all watch it. I'll pay attention. I could take this, stick it through that, and then just pull it over here. And just just let it just let it be sitting right there. And what I could do when I go to get up is I could grab that and pull myself up with that. Now another thing is this. I wasn't sure what the story was on this boat. I just pulled it out. But I was talking to Bill this morning on the phone. He said that used to be his boat. He said him and Merle, is his wife's name before she died, they bought that. They took it out on the lake and he said they pedaled it for about 50 feet and they figured out that it was not any fun. It ain't no fun to pedal on these things. You work your tail off and you don't go nowhere. And he said he put a trolling motor on the back of it. And I asked him how did he attach it. He said I just clamped it on there. Now I don't see anything to clamp anything onto here unless he literally clamped it to that. And I saw on looking on uh, YouTube, I saw where somebody had put a couple of pieces of wood here and clamped their motor there. Of course, they couldn't flip their motor up, but they were okay with that. Well, I told Bill, show me how he did that. Now, I'm not thinking I want to take this down there and put a trolling motor on it right around the lake, although he said they did. He said they'd, they'd jump on that thing, take a trolling motor, and ride all the way around to the state park and the golf course and everything else on it. So, but what I'm going to do is just clean it. It is uh, filthy. And it's missing uh, It's missing the rudder here. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is get out my soap, my pressure washer. And I'm going to soap her down good and pressure washer good and clean her up good. And then we might flip it over and see if we can fix it looks like I've got the workings of the rudder here. See, there's that. You can see the handle moving up there. So I've got the workings. It's just a, a rudder plate. And I believe, see this pin? I believe this is designed so you can put a rudder plate in here that will flip up. That way if you're pulling it up on the shore, it won't bend the rudder, it'll just flip up. And then when you get in the water, it'll fall down and you can use it to turn the boat around. I think that's how that was designed. 
And you know, as I'm sitting here looking at this, I was thinking about making one out of a piece of aluminium. I bet you could buy a rudder. It fit right on this thing. Now keep in mind, I don't know what I'm going to do with this boat. I, I am not thinking that I necessarily want it down there. But it might go good back over in the pond if I go, if I was to go over and, you know, I, I, at one time I was trying to build a, a little walkway out to that building that's over on the lake there. And it's got a roof and it's got a place where you can come up under it. I could put the rudder on this and take it over there. And I could go ahead and rebuild or build a walkway out to it. That would be good. And then people could come out there and ride on it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to do this. I'm going to clean it up. We got, we got traffic over there. We got a, there's a house over across the hill there, and somebody's gone up in there to do some work. Let's say hi. So, let's start. Let's start by getting that pressure washer out here. And I'll put that air compressor away while I'm at it. Oh, the joy. Yeah, that thing's going to need some hard scrubbing and also I need to turn it on its side, prop it up. Uh, there's no way to let the water out when it goes down in these low spots. Maybe if I found a board and I propped it up sideways, it would make it easier to get the water out of it once I squirt it in there. I'll go see what I can find out back. <laughs> See if we can get this thing up on the side. This thing looks to be in good shape. see any kind of drain holes so they must just figure that they've made this in such a way that it wouldn't get water inside it uh, yeah. huh. see with it up like this I can scrub this with a Brillo pad or something to let this water run out That'd be That'll be an easier clean. I don't think I'm going to do that today just because it's a little bit chilly. Thanks for watching.